In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to create and send a customized confirmation email to your customers or visitors using Elementor Pro's form builder or form widget. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get started, let me just introduce myself. My name is Barna Buxbaum. I'm just one of the guys teaching others on YouTube and on website startercourse.com. Um, I'm a huge fan of WordPress, Elementor and anything to do with creating awesome websites. So in this case, um, let's just head over to our test build and see what we are working with. So. As you can see, we have a simple form. Now, in this case, I have added a radio button to it just to make sure that we have a little extra option to it as well. In most cases, when you have your form uh, available, usually the customers do not receive a confirmation email. You need to use the email to option to add that. And even then you need to figure out a few things but following the next few steps, you will be able to create a truly personalized email confirmation for your users. Now let's just head over to our fields and see that we have a name field, an email field and a radio option. And I have added three different options just to make sure that we can test it properly. In most cases, what we will have is a simple email option. This is the email that you as the owner of the website will be receiving and not your visitor or a possible lead. So to do that, to have a confirmation email, first of all, we need to go to actions after submit and add email to, to the mix. And now we have email to as an option to have it set up properly. As you can see, both of these emails are the same in terms of settings. So we need to change that. And for example, the very first step, and this is where the personalization will start to field instead of this email address, we need to have the email address the visitor is going to leave. So for that, we have to go to form fields, the email field, go to advanced. And from the short code, let's just copy this short code back to email two and the two email address will be the short code from the advanced tab on the email field. What this does, it will make sure that no matter what email address they are using, there will be an email sent to that specific email address. And we are almost at the point that we have a working confirmation email, but we need to make sure that it is personalized. So the next step, we need to have a subject line. You can make it personalized if you like. I can simply leave it like this because the methods that I'm just going to show you can be used for the subject line as well. Now, if we go to uh, from email or from name and reply to, these are of course settings that you can do for yourself, but the personalization will be in the message. Now, in my case, what I have made, I have made a pre-configured email that I'm going to copy and paste into the message field and describe everything in details. So there we are. I'm just going to show you everything that you need to know. So what I did is say hi. And for the short code, I went back to the form fields, the name uh, under advanced. I'm just going to show you. So at form fields, name adv advanced. And from here we have the field ID. This is the short code that you're going to use for the name of the person. And there are just two line breaks. Of course, this is not the most beautiful HTML code. So please don't judge me for that if you're into HTML. But then again, for a simple email, it will work as it should, should be. So hi from the name field, bre uh, line breaks. And uh, thank you for reaching out to us. You have selected 
Uh, and another shortcut here from the form fields, which topic, radio, advanced, and I've used and I've used that shortcode. And what this will do is basically say thank you for reaching out to us. You have selected the whichever option is there will be there option. Line break. We will be in touch with you at using the email shortcode once again to make sure that he or she understands that we are going to reach out to that person on the specific email that they have added. Some line breaks. Speak to you soon. Uh, of course, it's me, Barna, from website startercourse.com. Now, after that, what you need to make sure is that send it as a HTML and let's click on update. So let's just recap of everything. We are using the short codes from the fields advanced tab. Now this will be dynamic. So whenever you're making changes to your fields, just make sure that the short code will be properly named. So I would suggest that you create your fields and everything that you need first. And in the very end, create the confirmation email just to make sure that everything is in place that you may need. And after this, let's just go to the page. And I'm just going to refresh this page just for testing for the name. Let's go with test as an email. Email address should be hello at WordPress dot com. Why not? We are interested in consultation. Let's send this email. The form was sent successfully. And now if I go into my local web hosts um, mailing service, we should be seeing a new message. And one is for me because I'm the admin and this is what I will get. And also there is a new message from there. So subject uh, is to whatever, whatever. This is um, basically the default, or you can personalize it. But you can see that the email was going to the email field that we have added email to. The message, hi, test, so the name field. Thank you for reaching out. You have selected the consultation option. You, see, you, you can see that the radio buttons um, shortcode is there. We will be in touch with you at hello at wordpress.com. So the email field is in use as well. So that is all that we needed to do to create a personalized uh, confirmation email. It is only a couple of minutes to do it. The most uh, annoying part will be to actually create the proper email that you would like them to read. Um, the technical bit will be relatively simple. So um, hope you liked this video. If yes, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming tutorials. That would give me a lot of motivation and show YouTube that you actually liked this tutorial. So until the next time, hope to see you soon and have an awesome day. Bye.